after watching that one hour blog or life from that man with the sky in his face, I start to question me a lot of things. I have started to be honest with you guys. I have started to question a lot of the issues with these vloggers coming up. I don't know why they can't walk away from something that does not belong to them and do something worth it to ownership. The man with the sky in his face becomes a very difficult matter to deal. What is make it a difficult matter to deal is the supporters is they're gaining moment right now is gaining a lot of supporters uh, people talking very negatively what in reality there is no substance to corroborate all the ideas all the the morning and uh, whatever whatever uh, situation the man with the scar in his face but what is quite inquisitive is why you don't ask yourself why you've been called a man with a scar in his face. That is why he feels offend be called but something an insignia that he have in the face. Well, human behavior sometimes translates in a such way that uh, some people feel offended, some others they feel proud of it, and others they go out out of their mind, they trying to make excuse, they feel bad. When somebody goes in a length of an uh, one hour, talk about a remark is being done by other person, tells you that there is something that person is hiding a lot is a lot and uh, for him to feel offended basically is more in that of remark is further more down the line and this is what many people didn't understand it took me a couple of few days to go through the the event analyze the language what he's trying to say the timing took well two things transpire here uh, is a new way of doing content creation. Use somebody idea, use somebody else names and all that and this distracting uh, way people focus, way people enjoy to c cultivate attention. Well, a good trick, you work, you work and uh, but was no substance, was no substance. And there is no substance there for the man with the scar in his face. It's like the movie. If you saw the movie, Scarface, also there is no lot of substance. You see a big name, big remark, you really want to understand. And then if you don't understand drama, English drama or literature, you can't capture the moment. <clears throat> but what is inf more interesting in this content creation, especially what's happening in the East Africa, it's too boring. It's becoming too boring. The characters have become none. They become there is no intelligence. I prefer my brothers and my sisters from Nigeria, Liberia, Senegal, uh, Gambia, all these Palafanse speakers. Yeah, they're more interesting. The the contests, even there is critis, criticism and. Uh, there is hate, there is, but with humor, there is humor, there is something funny, and uh, also there is more intelligence. But when we're looking into the man with scare face in the East African contest, ah, I feel so sorry for the content creators. But also I feel so sorry for the person who have uh, make it this content creation in this village uh, boom boom as a business way of living put bread on the table 
but also you have to blame him for allow a lot of these people come to his comfort area and share his comfort area with them. By allow these all these nonsense people we are seeing here is something inexplicable. We see how the his relationship is start, come a bit sour on camera. Uh, we see Rocio starting pushing the buttons, trying to say, let's change this positive thing. Yeah, as Rocio press the buttons and push and see the trust word, congrats mom, uh, more closer to a daughter-in-law, that is very nice. But is the man with the sky in his face does not see these positivity things in his favor. And one of the things is because he wants attention. While the real people who created the dynamics, the people who create the, the thematics, who put the, let's say, the topic out and then drive the topic, they, they just do their own business. It's the same when you look to the content creators in Nigeria. Even they make sure the background environment is beautiful, luxurious, uh, attractive. The scenarios are amazing. But when it comes to this particular one we are talking here, that has been very heavy funded and uh, thinking produce a video is just do whatever he thinks he wants but he forget the people fund him they're gonna come and say oh look i've been funding you and you are not being created the impact that we want that is all about that interview that one hour life of uh the man with sky in his face he was pushed to do that if you watch again, you're going to realize this is, can't come. This is not a narrative on his own. No, this is not a narrative on his own. It's a prepaid narrative. Prepaid narratives are very easy to spot. It is when the excuse is built around to a target. And then IMR has been a target for a very, while, very long from these men in particular, the scar in the face, because he could not, this is where many uh, the, the people who are follow him, they're not realizing they're wasting their time because they get to this animosity and they think, oh, at least there is opposite side of the story there is no opposite side of the story there is lies in the humans love lies deception deception is been one of the greatest thing of entertainment in the world since the 50s 60s 70s 80s and 90s these days with much information available worldwide deception time to time becomes a problem becomes a problem because too much information available on social media you can go to x you can go to facebook you can go uh, rumble youtube and then you can watch the real corporate institutions where most of the lies are lay and then you realize the, <laughs> what it means deception but the man with scar in his face the people are funding him, they're demanding a lot. The demand for lies became commercialized. So, this is a new trend now on the YouTube, especially when we talk about this synchronization of haters and creator 
Here we have a creator. We have the opposite side of the creator, the opposition. That is the eight of the people ask always for accountability what they don't know the sense of what's happening humans many many times go along with stories without understand the sense of the story here is one story if i ask you what happened in reality with politics in the United States you might say that guy say this and this guy is saying that I prefer this guy but if I ask you why you prefer this guy how long you've been following this person you might say no I saw just two three videos about him I like his attitude so let me rewind the story a bit. We have had this man with a scar in his face that he called himself Night of Chicha. Tell us the point of departure of him on YouTube. This guy starts YouTube with two channels. And those two channels never had success until he start follow up Ayamarwa, Guademaya and other YouTubers, very successful YouTubers in Kenya. But he spot a weakness on Ayamarwa. <clears throat> he thought it was easier for him to target Ayamarwa compared to target other YouTubers. Why? Well, the other YouTubers, or many of the YouTubers out there, most of them, they don't expose their lives and details in so much detail. Uh, so, this weakness of Hayamara being explored on so great, so great, that many people have abused to the point he be become a victim of his own uh, doings. And then what we are seeing, the reaction of this Night of Chicha after those two channels not doing well, was he risked all, he went seek help to Ayamara, even not contact Ayamara or whatever, he managed to get Ayamara trust and, and share moments very valuable moments, unique moments. But there is the way the problem starts is the main content creator, the man who mastering the art, <clears throat> giving away uh, some tips and tricks how to do and how make it happen. The man with the sky in his face thought he had a hole. So was time to bury the creator is in the disciples. But the creator will be a creator. The disciples will be disciples. Whatever you do you follow the Bible or you follow the Quran, whatever book religious out there, you're going to see this problem here that we are dealing with on the East African content creation. But where is the, 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 the real issue here? The real issue here is the brand. When a brand exploded, how it exploded. So Ayamara knows about brands. Ayamara went to university. He dealt with people in business in a big world out there in concrete jungle of Nairobi. He worked once in a bank. So he learned it. Our name is quite important in how to build the name. 
So, is what you've always been saying to people, is the name what attract people. I am most does not attract people. I am most what? I am most what is most? Mm, there is no story about most out there. But if I say there is a country called Mozambique, may attract you thinking about Mozambique, what Mozambique, very famous beaches, beautiful scenarios, but a very poor country, very dramatic politics. That's what it will be. But when you create a brand, you say Nairobi Chicha, there is something to sell. People will say, oh, this is a Chicha from, is a Nairobi Chicha from Kenya and Chichi in Nairobi. And people want to see what Chichi is behind because it cultivates the marketing. But when people start to explore it, start to see this melomaniac person, frustrate, anger, complain, disastrous, angry, and self-indulged ego. So, some love some hate but the love is people also with their own issues ambition issues fail they could not make and they join that campaign or that train or that wagon because not all the wagons in one train care good people one or two kill nonsense people and the others the majority are good so this is the train that imro f created by himself by allow these people come to his premises or his parents house share food share moments in their house tell them how to do it look change your channel name make it more attractive you know this was a very good thing but by creating in, but not define the content what you're going to do in your channel you went out there and failed yourself and then you feel the frustration the anger you turn around and then you start fighting your own creator it's like my own story where i have to confront my own mother because my mother was almost want me none. But God Almighty always said, son, leave them, go on your own path. That's what I done. So you can achieve much better compared to those they want you for none. And true. I done much better going my own path, leaving those behind forever and good. And believe me, they are there, living hell of a life. I'm here, at least I can feed myself and talk to you. And there is a fact of Nairobi Chicha. By not understanding, he should go on his own, create his own world and his own endeavors because was not the fortunes there, easy fortunes, that Ayamara seeks easily because Ayamara has been educated. He, do, he can understand the lingo, he can understand the geographics, the human behavior, the drama, literature and drama, he can understand a bit of science, but also is the deep of his own culture, the depth of his own origins. This is one of the things that cultivates most of the audiences of Ayamara. And then we have seen recently when he's with his partner, future wife to be, inside the rabbit uh, cage. 
where he say no don't count don't do it and she said to him you have too much negative beliefs you don't have freedom in your mind and that is what content is all about that is what cultivates that what makes that moment exclusive unique and that for night of chicha is negativity is not positivity but on god grace and power and illuminates the couple like the one referendum was said here you have to share more moments and times that's what's happening there they share moments and times in a very confined space where he all realize yes you write but he does not express the words he realize i do need you and she realized also she doesn't need him. And they prepared to that alliance of self-respect. If they were the night of Chicha sees, oh, this is the end of the story. None. I'm married. I have a wife. How many times I didn't argue with my wife? How many times my wife had said, things I never expect to me that has wake me up and make difference. How many times? You, an example. You are married for many, many years. You understand? So this is where this man with the sky in his face does not understand these lines where pointing the finger opposite way for those who feed him or give him water for him to live another day was something huge he preferred to turn his failure and point the finger because that person has a light how bad and positive negative that person became against him for no reason here is a point who feeds ayamara who feeds rusio who feels congrat mom who building, who does give everything these people have? Does Nairo Chicha contribute? Does, in any moment in time, those people create an obstacle that he can't grow? They threat his life? Or they have hired somebody to hit him? No. These people, they're not doing nothing. These people are just living there. A thousand kilometers far away. Just to reach there, Night of Chicha doesn't even have the money to pay the fare. You have to borrow to get there. In this village and get fed by others, not by himself. For the Jews that he says he, he can have easily. There where you have to understand this content creation in East Africa, it becomes something that not have value add for any purpose. It becomes a drama with stupidity, people that are stupid people that can't believe in their own selves. I can do it much better with my time and my uh, power of give a like, subscribe, share and comment to something else worth it. Not, let's say, uh, Priska, let's say Mr. Zim, let's say other YouTubers that are doing content, the Rwandans, the Ugandans, the Tanzania, Lennox and all these people with an, a constant narrative, not people, they came to the village and then seeking fame for nothing, they came back to their riches and their comforts 
and they post whatever when they want because these people they don't need the YouTube it's been evident it's been clear all these people they flow from the UK uh, Qatar uh, other places of the world they went to this just for that moment to give that child to be there in that frame for a second and tell a story and that is they thought by me getting my story my drama out there is all and here is what was this one hour life of this man create take out these prepaid agenda that by that was discriminated he was insulted his image was tarnished but he never asked himself in the first instance how your image got tarnished when you you have called that other man the man with one eye but was the man with one eye made you worldwide known was that moment that chance that you had walk in that house you spoke to him and he was kindly opened the doors of his parents house not his house parents house and let you in that the world knows you and you became so disrespectful and today everything what not only him all those who fed you somewhere somehow in that house accommodate you they give you food they wait you first eat and feel satisfied you today you spell spit on their faces on their honor on their integrity they were the problem lays Nairobi teacher by come out with all this drama of uh, beautiful flowers misses <laughs> let me put there Nairobi teacher by come out with this uh, drama all these issues proves once again that uh, if you don't dedicate yourself you don't prove people otherwise you're problematic and then you'll be problematic forever that's how you lay your life but there is other part what is quite interest is the sweetness those people giving you to do these tarnish because what we real i realize here to be honest with you what i realize why i amara never eat a million no because i amara can't eat it go to a million he can easily is the funds the multi millionaire machine behind to trash him the day i amara will block the world around no more uh, charity no more uh, support no more just travel the world goes around show us the world i am arrow will eat a million in one month just in one month come to the village for one two three days like team wango that we saw Kim Wangu just came for two, three days. The numbers went bananas and crazy. Subscribers rocked. And she well aware. Yeah, they rock, but this place is very controversial. People, they're not enjoying. People, they're just trying to pick my hair and push me to the edge of madness. Bye-bye. And she went and she's doing great and this is where seven eight years of hard work of ayamarwa 
becomes a problem. Spend so many, so much time on the village and mingle with unnecessary matters. And those matters become like uh, a dirty laundry machine. What became the Eastern Africa content create, creation is a dirty laundry machine. While we see pretty and beautiful content from Ghana, from West Africa, and let's put West Africa, we see something more solid rock, entertainful and amazing to enjoy. It's quite pity. I am mean, from Western East Africa. See how the a man with a scar in his face does not add value at all. Shows his country, promote his country, tourism, beautiful events. How the country became uh, so so relevant like when the things happen in, in Kenya, see most Americans, uh, girls, European, come and married in Kenya. These are very interesting stories. Like you can see, there is a channel that's related to that. So follow these kind of stories and what is Kenya good in? Coffee, tea, is history? No. Gossip became the art of living. Very sad. And the same page is all those who support Ayamara and follow Ayamara be the same people who support the haters and fund the haters and donate the haters. Here is very, very interesting. People with two profiles, people that will watch the Scarface premiere and they will go watch Ayamara and ask myself, what do these people validate? What is the pleasure they feel themselves what did they validate? This is visual, this is content creation, this is a different dynamic. What do these people do? You say, well, you not only that is these people, the same people, say, forget about that. This guy is like give you an instruction what to do, what not to do. It's like that story. I think it was Royal Kim or only Mawira about this woman somewhere else that want to be his girlfriend and tell him what to do. Don't talk to that person. Don't do don't, this. Don't do this. Don't do that. I want you to show me this. I'm going to send money you for that. This becomes a world of maniacs. And the world of maniacs lose interest to watch. And then they go again. Are so many maniacs out there they love drama this is the proof like the video done by Ayamara about these bicycles that was no content there was nothing there nothing to watch I saw some flashes of the video I was like okay what I'm gonna watch? What I what is there for me to spend my time in front of the TV or the laptop or the cell phone? Watch that it was nothing. It was just some children being given bicycles. I bought a bicycle for my kid. What I need to watch? What is that? Was him talking to his friend who donate? That is great. Accountability, yeah, but it was nothing. That means that what we are seeing there in this content creation from Western Africa, the day I am will no longer be in the picture. 
I don't know why these people. This is a time for them to start asking and realize. Like I saw another flash the other day, somebody commenting about Kung Fu Fanta and I am Carol. What Kung Fu Fanta comes in in this? Comes to create the visions. That is the strategy. He realized he can make it a living from you <laughs> easily because you don't have an agenda. He have an agenda, a very clear agenda. Kung Fu Fanta, Mr. Nice, have a very good agenda. He knows. Let me abuse and abuse this stupid ignorance and entertain them with gossip. That's what they like. That's what the audience love in Kenya, is gossip. They became lazy to create their own thing. That's what the man with the sky in his face is. While others, they're building their own castles, they build their own dreams, they're doing better, they have fun. Is the only one stay there in the woods. But never say that. What else is here? What I have realized all this almost a year, follow up and react to and I analyze this trend of this African influenza is this lens how powerful become and how these lens are distort people's minds especially you the audience you uh, the donor the subscriber you that you do comment and run to work and come back from work just to watch this series here there is one person only one person run the show and that is Ayamaro very soon Ayamaro will not be there I guarantee you we have seen when the party even his own partners claim here how many times he's been there in bed, lay, finished. And this strategy is the strategy that Elvis Presley went. He's awesome, all that, and drugs and this and that, and then, boom, gone. So don't think Ayamara will last in YouTube forever. Yeah, you need to start to desify your... Your choice of entertainment start looking somewhere uh, different uh, subjects travelers and start for go away from Ayamaro because he created his drama and uh, for you to be sitting and say oh what else what this what about that no world this other good stuff out there to do it i wish god give him frankly lo long live because this guy if he get his machine his camera in his boots walk out of his gate he can do a lot of magic, believe me. He doesn't need to go through all this nonsense of Nyambo ones. He doesn't need. Much is love, his village, but the village does not have nothing to give him. It's time for him to leave and say, I have achieved what I need to achieve. And uh, enjoy life with his partner traveling until where God can say stop it and retire.
Thank you. Bye.